Something I've always wanted to ask an artist. Behind the Music is my one of my favorite shows out there. The Pantera Behind the Music was probably the most gripping hour of music documentary television that I, I've ever seen. Mm, I thought it was biased. Well, that's what I want to ask. I want to get the artist's point of view. I thought it was a biased. That had nothing to do with Pantera. It had everything to do with the darkest chapter. Pantera was a bristling, fantastic, big thing, man. You know, we were on top of the world whilst our entire reign of heavy metal, you know, no one besting us. You know, those are some fantastic memories in there. The whole story isn't about Daryl's death. That's what I want to say, man. There's a whole lot of good they seem to leave out. And uh, they portrayed me as, a, as this villain. I got a phone call. I was laying in bed. That's how I found out, man. You know? Yeah. Day doesn't go by where I don't think about Pantera or Dimebag probably several hundred times. I got peace in my heart, you know, when it comes to Pantera. Because I think of the positive things. There was a lot of positive things. The connection with the audience. Very unique thing, Pantera fans. Very, very, very staunch, stubborn, and loyal as dogs, for God's sake. And us to them, too, you know? Because we were just music fans, man. We were fans of music, man. I'm still, you know, a music trading fool, man. You know, so. I remember seeing you guys play in, like, the Pantera pits. It's like you had to like second guess yourself like 10 times before you even think about trying to get mixed up in that because it was like war. Violent, violent shows, man, but fun. You know, back when etiquette was still there, you know, you catch the stage diver. You're not trying to start a fight. You know which way the pit goes. You know, etiquette, old school etiquette, I miss it. For the best new video in hard rock and metal music, just go to the music and radio section on your spring deck and subscribe to Revolver TV.